Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's uh, May 17th, 2017. It's about 10.30 p.m. I went to the, well, let's see. I went to the dermatologist today. This is not a religious uh, thing on top of my head. Uh, went to the dermatologist today and let me go over here to Facebook. This is the cancer that I had. And this area, which you would think might be just a scab or whatever, actually is the entire thing was cancer. And this line drawn around here is the line that the doctor drew. And he took extra skin, the area around here and tested that for cancer cells and there weren't any. It took, I had to wait an hour, you know, he took this off the cancer out and then he took the extra skin and then he checked the extra skin. It took an hour and a half and then I went back and then uh, whoops, what happened to it? Oh, and then he he sewed it up. I forgot to ask him for pain medication. And it 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 hurts. I should have asked him for pain medication. But he did write a prescription for an antibiotic that I'm to take. And then I checked that and it said of course antibiotics, you know, you have to a lot of them tear up your, you know, your stomach and cause all kinds of problems and sometimes you have to change it, or, you know, get it changed or whatever. This one said that, it, you know, really shouldn't be taken with my diabetic <laughs> medication. So I'll have to call tomorrow and uh, check, to know, check to make sure, because it may be that he did re know that I was and maybe he adjusted the strength and or maybe the the amount of time that I'll be taking it so uh, but anyway so anyway he got all of the cancer and I'm glad that I'm home but I wish I'd ask him for but I'm not going to uh, not going to bug him I just want to say you know I oh by the way I created a playlist there's only two videos in it right now, but I, it's a playlist that's marked political. And I'm going to, if I do a video that's entirely or mostly political or whatever, I'm going to put it in that playlist. And if you don't agree with my politics or whatever, uh, I'm not going to, I won't put it in more than one playlist. I'll just put it in the political playlist. You can just avoid that. You know, just avoid that video. But I did a really scathing uh, video yesterday. Political one. Now, I positively know that I'm not going to con convert one person. If you are of a uh, different political point of view I am not going to and there isn't anybody who can change I found that out I had a bulletin board system in 1982 starting in 1982 before the World Wide Web and then because it was because it wasn't the World Wide Web I felt at that time that it was important important that uh, when items were things were discussed that both points of view were discussed and we discussed everything that's being discussed you know abortion uh, gun control uh, every one of the issues and it was the same same situation then people extremely upset on one side and the other people you know on the other side with opposite views and nobody ever changed their opinion and uh, now when I went, when they created the World Wide Web in 1995, when I took 
my Howard's Notebook and my blog and everything to the World Wide Web, I didn't try to cover because there was tons and tons you could find, you know, the opposite point of view. And so I, I, I didn't try. I just give what's going on in my life, in my blog. If you'd, if you'd read my blog, you'd, I, I went through divorce, uh, problems at work. I did grievances at work. I put the grievance that I was turning in. I let you follow the progress. I mean, so if, if somebody, uh, a site did a review of my blog, and they, of course, happened to do the review when I was talking about family problems. Uh, and so they thought that was what my blog was all about. But it, my blog is about whatever, you know, medical stuff, whatever is going on in my life. I try not to do the political thing, but then sometimes, like yesterday, I get so pissed off, so enraged that I pour it all out. And if you didn't watch yesterday's video, only 38 of you have. Uh, and if you are, I'm a liberal Democrat. So if you are a Trump supporter or somebody, you know, right wing conservative, and if you can't, which very few of us, I, I can, I go and check out other, I go out and check out right wing sites. So to help me make, you know, decisions and decide. But most of most people can't. They don't want to be confronted with opposing points of view. So, but if you're uh, one of those people that uh, is right wing or whatever, you know, avoid my political stuff. You're not going to like it, and it's just going to upset you. And so, I have no problem, you know, with you. So I'm putting them in a. I'll try to put it. Remember, I'll try to remember to. Uh, put them in that separate folder. But what I wanted to say, now there again, only 30, uh, yesterday, that video, I was really lit. <laughs> I was really wound up. And uh, probably went a little further than I should have in attacking. Uh, but you know, you all have been really nice very seldom that I even get a thumbs down. And don't usually get uh, name, you know, uh, name calling. It's always been that way. Even with my blog starting in 1982, uh, people were have been really, always really nice to me. And I think the reason is, I hope this isn't patting myself on the back or whatever. If it is, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, but I think it's because people, they may not agree with me, but they know that uh, I try to be fair. I try to see both points of view. Of course, I have my own prejudice, my own, you know, built-in DNA to be a certain way. But I think people realize uh, realize that. And I really, I did some hollering and screaming and some name calling yesterday. But even though only 38 people have watched this video. Uh, you know, I'm being treated really nice. I mean, nobody has, you know, called me a communist or, I mean, that's happened a few times in the past. I've had threats, you know, uh, against me in the past and whatever. But I mean, in general, no, I've been really, you've re you all been really nice. Um, so, now I don't want to get into politics, and I'm not going to get into politics, except um, um, what was it? Um, maybe it wasn't here, because I think we'll actually agree, I believe. I think everybody will agree. It's the, uh, is it the Turkish Prime Minister who came? Oh, come on now. Anyway, I thought I had it, 
marked. The, I think it's a Turkish prime minister came to Washington D.C. and was in the Turkish embassy. I wish I could find it. And uh, people went to protest, and I guess mainly the ones protesting were Kurds. And the Turkish prime minister's security detail went out there into the crowd and started (coughs) beating and kicking American citizens. And I, I saw the video. I'm sorry I don't I didn't pull it up here for you. But I saw the video and that is that is unbelievable. Turkey's a NATO ally uh, and I can understand Turkey has this thing with the Kurds because the Kurds they have their little enclave now which Turkey doesn't like and there's a lot of Kurds who are in Turkey and even go into I think I think maybe Russia and different they go in different areas and of course they want to be united and they you know that I'm sure they're thinking we'd like to cut out a little bit of Turkey here and a little bit of you know and so but and I I sympathize with the the Kurds but we need the United States needs to let Turkey well one what they did here having their secure and their and they said on the news that uh, the security people that they don't have diplomatic immunity those people do not have diplomatic immunity of course once they're in the Turkish embassy there's nothing you can do about it but uh, that's a you know we need to let I guess it was probably we've tried you know we need to let Turkey know I guess this is getting into political we need to let Turkey know okay we understand you know but also the Kurds man they've been had everything done to them and they're being killed and the Tur- the Kurds are a hell of a fighting force that are fighting against ISIS and uh, extremists and we need to cut we could work something out okay you know we're going to arm we're already arming the Kurds and that's what's upset Turkey we're going to arm the Kurds but they're not going to be allowed to attack Turkey they're not going to be allowed to take away Turkish territory and I don't know it's it's an I can't that's out of my pay grade why did they why did they even get into that got into it because of the uh, video up there out there of them of Turkish security personnel going out into the streets of America and beating American citizens and kicking them. They were vicious about it. There, there were people on the ground that had been knocked to the ground and they were kicking them in the, you know, kicking them in the head. Uh, there is something else that I did want to mention and I don't think it's political, but some people are going to call it fake, you know, Fox News is losing, you know, Fox News has been like the number one in ratings and viewers. News, you know, beating out CNN, MSNB for years. Uh, Fox News has been the leader uh, in, and all of a sudden they're losing now out to CNN and to MSNBC. And uh, that's amazing. And now in case you think this is fake news uh, here it is uh, redstate.com which I call a right wing hate site uh, they have the news too that uh, Fox News ratings are falling behind CNN and MSNBC so that is uh, that's a real shocker that that's that that's happening and uh did they cover the okay well here it's the interesting reason DC police didn't interfere with Turkish security people goons beating demonstrators okay I'm not going to click on it because redstate.com although redstate.com they they didn't uh, they didn't care for Donald Trump 
when he was a candidate, ouch, sometime, ouch, my head, by, uh, uh, they, uh, they didn't, even when he was a candidate, they, they weren't, they, didn't, they weren't really happy with him, and I don't think they thought he, I don't think they thought he would win, I sure didn't think he would win, and uh, then after he won, they have tried to be supportive, but some of the many many of the things are negative about about him, and they are a you know hardcore right wing site. So, but uh, so anyway, so it's interesting that Fox News is so. Uh, back to I wanted to say that. I'm not going to apologize, but uh, I do want to thank you people. You have really treated me well. It's been that way over the years, even when I had the bulletin board system. Uh, back in the early days, there, there was, uh, if you had a, a Radio Shack computer, you hated Apple people and you hated T Texas Entertainment people that had their computers. And like the Apple... <laughs> Bulletin board systems, when they started up, you know, they would not allow, sometimes some of them would not allow, if you didn't have an Apple computer, you couldn't log in. They would, and other sites would kick you in. Uh, BBS operators hated it when Christmas rolled around and all the kids got modems and they would be caught. Some of the uh, BBSs all across the United States would just shut down for a couple of days so the kids that got them on Christmas. Eve or Christmas morning when they got and hooked up they wouldn't be and I was always I always let everybody in no restrictions uh, n almost never deleted anybody never deleted any comments that people or messages that they left and and uh, so people were nice to me nice to me then and you and people different group of people being nice to me now, and I just want to say, you know, I do do appreciate it because I hate so much of the uh, hatred and uh, rancor that that goes on. So I do appreciate the uh, kindness. Now I'm not sure if the number of views I got. I mean, uh, if I'd have got 200 views or 500 views or something, uh, then maybe I would have got a percentage. You know, so I don't know. But anyway. With what happened, I'm fine. I know. just want to thank you for that. And remember, I've set up a... If you don't agree with my politics, which a lot of you don't, and you might want to skip any video that's in the folder that says political. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching. I hope you didn't look at that picture of my uh, head if you were eating or something.